Hello all, today we're going to show you how to manually enter a record for a loan estimate that was disclosed by the lender. A few important things to, to note, uh, one is always follow trade guidelines. For this particular example, the LE was disclosed by the lender within a timely fashion. Normally you would start with the disclosure tracking tool, but before we do that we want to make sure that our milestones are complete. Best practice, always complete your pre-qual milestone before sending out your initial disclosures. Um, also make sure that you've completed all of the steps within the forms. For now, let's go over to the Reg Z LE and let's enter the LE issued date. For this example, it was November 18th, 2019. Today is November 19th, so they disclosed this yesterday. Now let's proceed back to the disclosure tracking tool. And you'll notice here within the disclosure history, there's you can add a disclosure. So I'm going to include a disclosure for the loan estimate. Hit OK. And it's going to give you an option for multiple dates, one being the current date and the other is the date that's entered on the LE page. I'm going to choose the date entered on the LE page. As you can see, it's almost simultaneous. It removes the alert on the left hand side because I've already disclosed it. Next, if you click on this, you can update your dates to sh so that everything meshes in the file. Um, this was sent on the 18th. They received it on the 18th. And now I can also clear my intent to proceed, which has to be done manually for every file. And I'm also going to enter the 18th here. Hit OK. And now you can see that my Broker LE is now within the timeline. Go ahead and hit save. And you can see now that the, the alerts have been cleared. Um, all the disclosures on this file have been properly sent. And that's it. That is how you manually add a record for the loan estimate to the disclosure tracking timeline.